everyone, today I'm going to pimp up my quinoa so the kids really like it and it also looks so pretty, you'll see at the end, with pomegranates and tomatoes, cucumber, mint, parsley, loads of lovely stuff. So I hope you like it. So this is what we need. One cup of quinoa. I'm going to wash it and then cook it. And we also need some fresh mint, some fresh flat parsley that will make the whole thing really lovely. I'm going to cut up this cucumber, that is about 150 grams of cucumber. I need a lemon, some olive oil, pomegranate seeds. This is from one of those little pots that you can get in the supermarket, that's about 80 grams. Also one cup of peas and vinegar, tamari and salt and pepper. And I'm going to use these tomatoes they are called italian tomato selection sweet and intense and these are by tesco and i really really like them because they don't have that sweet weird taste that some sun-dried tomatoes can have these taste more like real tomatoes it's just been sort of enhanced to it in their flavors and um, my kids are not that interested in tomatoes they actually detest it unless it's on a pizza but this one they sort of like. So I rinsed the quinoa and I'm boiling one cup of water in this pan. So the same amount of quinoa, the same amount of water and then I'm just letting that boil up with a lid and then when it's boiling I just put the heat right down and I'm let it, let it stand there on low heat for about five minutes. So after five minutes the quinoa has really expanded and I will just take it off the heat and leave it off the heat with a lid on for another five minutes. So the quinoa is done and to save on my bowl so I don't have to wash another thing I'm going to just mix it all in in this pan. So the peas one cup of peas and the flat parsley, it smells so good. And the mint, tomato, the tomato is about, I would say when I cut it up, about one to two tablespoons all in all. And the cucumber, 150 grams of cucumber. A little bit of dressing for it as well. And I'm putting in some olive oil, about two tablespoons. And I'm going to use tamari, which is gluten-free, about a tablespoon. And also some balsamic vinegar, we can have any vinegar. A little bit of that, maybe one tablespoon. Black pepper, mixing it up. And then you can just taste it to see if it's, if you like it like that, if you need more salt or... If it was just for me, I might have had a little bit more of the sun-dried tomatoes in, but because of the kids, uh, I'm going to leave it like this. So I'm just serving it on this lotus flower and I haven't forgot the pomegranate seeds goes on top and a few mint leaves as well on top. It looks much better than just plain quinoa. I, I think this dish comes out really pretty and it's a pleasure to serve it. It's so lovely to have on the dinner table and the kids love it. They love quinoa anyway, but they really like this one because it's so colourful and happy. So anyway, I, I hope you liked it and that you will come back for another video. And please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. Have a fabulous week and I will see you later.